today's video is going to break down how to beat the Blitz in Men Info 16. Uh, what's up guys, my name is Cody and in today's video we're back with our Scheme of the Week series and uh, we're breaking down the Miami Offensive Playbook this week and uh, we're going to try to show you some plays we can utilize uh, to beat zone blitzing defenses as well as man blitzing defenses in this year's game. And uh, yesterday, or last couple of days, we've talked about the shotgun empty bunch as our base play. We, we, we talked about the shotgun tight offset tight end as our man beater and then we also talked about the bunch open offset as our zone beater and today we're going to be taking a look at the wing uh, let's see here where is it the wing uh, trips dolphin week uh, the wing trips dolphin week and the play we're going to focus on is the play stick what I want you to notice is this route to the halfback is kind of a, a, a table route and it's gonna be really really good as a quick pass against zone defenses okay and we're trying to get this to where we can access these plays through our quick audible so what we want to do with this play uh, to make it a little bit more effective here for us is we want to take our tight end here uh, Greg Olson and we want to actually place him on a zig pattern and then we want to take Jericho Cotri and we want to place him on a hitch pattern and we want to smart route his hitch route to go 10 yards up the, up the field. Okay. Now our first read here against the zone blitz is really simple. We're just going to look to hit Jonathan Stewart out of the backfield. As you can see, this route is effective as effective can get. It's so, so, so good. Uh, and we'll show you this against man as well. Uh, and what you'll see here is against man, it actually doesn't do too shabby uh, as being something that you can actually fit in. We like to pass through that to the left, um, as you see there. And then, like I said, we smart route Kotri and we zig Olsen. Um, and what you're going to see here is against the uh, zone blitz to the, if they're blitzing you and they cover the halfback, you're going to normally have Greg Olsen against the zone pressures. Uh, Greg Olsen's going to be opening in zone pressure, as you can see. So there's two sides. We have the left side for zone pressure and the right side for zone pressure. That's kind of key uh, when doing this. And then the next uh, thing we want to show is if they're in uh, a man blitz. What we're going to do if they're in a man blitz is we're going to look to hit the slant pattern. Slants this year's game are very effective for beating man to man. As you can see, we're able to beat man to the inside and uh, avoid the free runner coming right up our face. Um, the next read here on the right side if they're facing man coverage is going to be this route to Kotri, just low pass lead whenever he turns around. It's just a very simple low pass lead. Uh, Cam Newton, for some reason, decided he wasn't going to come to play today. We'll see if we can show it to you again. And uh, we'll show you this middle plug is the blitz we're using, um, but just a low pass lead. And if you don't want to, you don't even have to low pass lead it. I just do it out of habit um, because against zone you want to low pass lead it. But we'll show you this against man blitz. You don't actually have to. Just when he turns around, throw it. He's going to snap back, and there you can see it. It's unbumpable. That's why we use a hitch instead of a curl because hitch rests are unbumpable, and we're able to. Uh, to uh, get that separation. If he's just in a man situation uh, and we go curl route, what you're going to see here is if they bump us, then it's going to really F up our reads here because what's going to happen is he's going to get pressed and we're going to have, you know, it, that time he didn't get pressed. I don't know why they didn't press him. Let's see if we can show this. But man align press, what you're going to see here is they're going to put this guy right over him to press him. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. But uh, what we're going to see here is when they press Kotri, it's going to really change everything because the pressure can get in now. He's not open yet, and then I'm sacked. So, so that's the idea here. We really want to look into this hitch route because it's unbumpable, and we can easily fit that in to him. Another thing that we can notice here from this play is if you have a good tight end, his route running is going to open him up. Um, couldn't get the ball quick enough there, but his route running is going to open him up to the outside. You see just a quick pass to the outside there, uh, and you can fit that in. So so just a lot of cool things you can do with this, guys. Um, but, you know, the, the, we have those two routes for man, two routes for zone, and then in the event that the blitz gets picked up and they forget to, to leave a safety. So in the event that we pick up the pressure and we notice that there's enough time we can throw it. Oh, there we did not pick up the pressure at all. We got shamed. But if we can show this, um, but basically, if in the event that the pressure uh, does not, you know, that gets picked up, maybe we block crib or something, uh, so we block our tight end and our halfback, high pass lead this route, and Teddy Ginn go get it with his speed. 
there Josh Norman made a play, but and Cam Newton did not make a throw. But we'll see if we can show it to you. Just a high pass lead, Teddy Gingo get the ball kind of thing, and that's what we're looking to get. So just a one-on-one -on -one type thing is all we're looking to get. The cool part about this is you have the inside zone as you run audible down. Some pretty good quick audibles here from this formation. As you can see, we have the inside zone. Then we also have the PA slide. And the cool part about this play is it's a little play action. Um, and Luke Heakley came through untouched. Um, but basically... It's just a little play action play, and we can slip it out to the tight end on a flat route to the left side of the field. So a lot of things you can do with this play, a lot of variances and variables that you can work with. Also have four verticals, America's favorite passing play this year um, because of the aggressive catch feature, uh, and, and there you see. But uh, anyways, guys, just wanted to break this uh, quick pass down. Primarily, we're going to be utilizing this play stick. Uh, and using this route to the halfback, as you can see, it's pretty really, it's really pretty effective against uh, the blitz this year. And and then of course we want to work off that route, and we can do some things on the right side of the screen here to actually make this a pretty solid play overall. So wanted to take an opportunity and share that with you guys. Tomorrow, come make sure you come back. We're going to break down how to run the ball from the Miami play, but give you some really good running plays, some really, really good uh, sets you can use in Miami for the shotgun running. So really, really good things uh, coming tomorrow. And then also, guys, I also wanted to remind you that our uh, offensive and defensive guys, we're going to, we're going to post those live on Monday. I know I wanted to get them out to you this week, but trying to put a little extra work into the defense and try to make it a little bit better for you guys uh, so that you guys can really uh, start locking people down. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions,